Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Our team coverage of Ida's aftermath continues tonight. We have crews spread out all across Acadiana to survey the destruction left behind. First, the latest on the storm. The storm killed at least two people in Louisiana, but the death toll, unfortunately, is expected to rise. Over a million residents are without electricity. More than 25,000 linemen from 22 states are working to restore power with more on the way. Thousands of people, meanwhile, in Terrebonne Parish are without power or cell phone service after Hurricane Ida slammed the area Sunday. News 10's Britt LaFaso shows us the devastation the massive storm left behind. Britt begins our team coverage tonight. People who stayed here in Homa for Hurricane Ida say this is the worst hurricane they have ever been through, and they say this was the longest one, too. I mean, just take a look at some of the damage here. It was like 150 mile an hour wind for, I'd say, seven hours. It was unbelievable. It just, it was relentless. So it was pretty traumatic. I didn't expect it to be this bad, you know. Whenever it comes to wind speed and everything, it's going to be the worst hurricane in the continental United States ever, I believe. It was bad. It, at points, I had a wind gauge in my backyard before it flew off. It was reading 137 miles per hour in the wind speeds. While Hurricane Ida ripped through home, a residents who stayed say they could only imagine what was going on outside their homes. It was scary. We would like hear things like hit hit the roof, and we'd be like, "What was that?" But it was too crazy to go outside. Oh, I was in my house, in my kitchen, had bed bed frames and mattresses all up on the windows. I live in a really old house with a lot of windows, big windows too. So I was pretty scared, and I had stayed for the last couple storms because they had over exaggerated the the, the devastation and. Uh, Man, you can't really take these storms lightly, you know. You find that out the hard way or the easier way. Many say it wasn't until Tuesday morning when they could see the damage that they realized how dangerous this storm was. And we've stayed for Andrew and Lily and Isaac and Katrina. I mean, you name it, we stayed for all of them. Goose and we've, off. we've and goose off, and we've never lost one shingle. And that, the difference with this one is that it just it came and it would not leave. Driving through Homa, you see windows of downtown businesses shattered, trees and power lines blocking roads, and numerous residents picking up the pieces of this hurricane. This is probably gonna go down in the record books in my eyes, you know. So you guys are Lucky to be alive. Lucky to be alive. Lucky to be alive. And as you can see, today is really about a lot of people trying to pick up the debris in their community. And it's probably going to be a couple of weeks before a lot of these people here in Homa get their power back. But for now, reporting in Homa, Britt LaFosso, Caleb Wine News 10.